So so let's let's pull it back real quick. Like, wh- why did you? What made you think? Like, what went off in your head that was like, yo, tech tech is an industry. Tech is a space that I should work in, or I should get a a, a nine to five job in, and more specifically, like, why cyber? So when I was a kid, I'd probably say about 10 years old, after like watching YouTube videos and things like that, I started gravitating towards technology. Mm-hmm. And that was like back in the days where you could jailbreak your PS3 and yeah. you know get games and stuff like that. And by watching tutorials on how to do those things, I just gravitated towards technology and computers. And at the age of like 11, I built my first computer. And that's when I started Sheesh, watching like- 11, you, bro, I've not built a computer yet. And you built a computer at 11 years old? Yeah, man, it was literally like putting Legos together. Like it's really not- <laughs> No, don't say that. You can't just say that. You can't just say that. <laughs> Cause now you gonna have me looking at Legos different. <laughs> okay, so you, you built a computer, wow, at 11 years old, um, impressive. And so, my bad, I took your thunder, go ahead. No, I mean, and this is by uh, putting different pieces and different components together. Like I got like two like old computers in my school thrown away and I got one computer donated to me and I put all those parts together to make my own. So I kind of yeah. had like a, a Jimmy Raid computer at yeah. home. But and it turned on and everything, like oh, yeah, all everything of that. Works. That's crazy. Man, we didn't even have internet in my house at the time. So it's like, I used to have to, I end up going to buy like a little Wi-Fi card mm-hmm. and had to use my neighbor's internet and things like that. And sometimes the signal would be bad. It would go out and have to like move the computer to the left side of my room so I could like connect to their house more. It was, it was a whole Jimmy rigged like setup. That, that's but crazy. by having to troubleshoot those things, yeah. I had to learn more and more. And that's when I learned about like yeah, internet true. protocols and DNS and things like that. And then to go into that a little farther, like, me as a kid, I was so fascinated by things. And like, that's when I got an Xbox and I started learning how to JTAG those things. And I got more into learning about networking um, by using like Kane Enable and using like IRC servers and botnets. And just as a joke, like I could like, you know, use a uh, DDoS attack to, you know, flood someone's internet with extra packets and kind of like mm-hmm. hit them offline in a way if someone's like talking crap in like a party oh, or something like crazy. that, you could just kind of kick them out of the game. So they, so they would talk trash to you while you're playing the game. And then you would basically like, hack them or you would send something over to them that would like mess them up or kick them out of the game. Yeah, so you could use an, um, a software called Kane Enable and what it'll do is it'll show you the active connection to your network at the time. Because now uh, most Call of Duty games or online games are server based. You're connected to, everyone's connected to a server. But mm-hmm. back in the day, um, some games might still do this now, but back in the day, the strongest internet connection was the host. So everyone was connect, interconnected with each other. Yeah. So I could, I would have to guess sometimes if they were in a party with me, it'd be a little bit easier. The person talking the most, they would have the most packets sit back and forth. That's how I would know which IP address was which. And then um, I would use That's an IRC good. server. So you could look at stuff and tell whose IP address was whose based off of the rate of which, how much someone was talking. And you would look at the packets that were sent. and re- <laughs> That's crazy. That's smart. That's smart. But go ahead. I got it wrong sometimes. And I would hit the oh, wrong yeah. person offline a couple of times. But... I mean, using a denial of service attack, you can realistically only do it for a little bit unless you're using, then you end up using your, your bots or your servers um, capacity, your capacity at that point. But mm-hmm. I could hit them offline for 10 to 15 minutes and they would think that the internet was gone. I've had like a mom call me once or twice, just mad and like our internet's messed up and things like that. But just as a joke, you know, that's it would funny, turn yeah. off and turn back on. But that's how I kind of got into that space. And by being in that space, I met like people that, you know, do hack and do all these other things. Yeah. I never got into those, but that's what really like exposed me to tech. And I was never passionate about it to the point of working, but it seemed like it would be the easiest job for me to, or the lowest barrier of entry for me to get into that space. Yeah. 